Hey everybody, I'm doing this video to to show you what a dialysis patient does, um, how the process goes, and how I clean my blood every every five days out of seven. I do it every day, and uh, two days a week I have off as long as it's not two days in a row. So anyway, before I even started this, uh, about a half hour ago, I put on this uh, this numbing cream um, for my access in my leg, and I just uh, what I do is. I pour some of this, except it's called, it's like alcohol, but even stronger. It's to uh, sterilize the area. And I put it on these little 2x2 two two pads. I put on my gloves. And I take one of these. Wipe it around a little bit. Sterilize the area. Then I take this needle, it's got a red thing on it, that's the arterial, which um, takes the blood away from the body. So, I take this, you can see that right there, there's the needle, I grab the butterfly part there, and slowly and carefully put the needle in, and then slide it in slowly. It's kind of like a, a big straw where you got to put the needle in there and not punch it through the other sides. So I take that and I take a piece of tape. Tape it down. Secure it. I take one of these two by twos, fold it in half twice, cover that up, and get another piece of tape here. And that one's all done. And I take this and I kind of loosen the top a little bit. You don't want the blood to come out. And then close it up and clamp it. Then you go to the other one, which is the Venus. Clean this up a little bit. then the venus will be blue take that out again see that needle there and we're in just gotta tape this one down, secure it down Tape it down. Take the other two by two. And tape this. Then you take this one. Slide that down. Again, you loosen it a little bit to bring the blood all the way up to the end. Close it. Then for this one, the blood is going back in. Where it comes out here, it goes to the machine and then it'll come back through the blue line into me cleaned out so what I gotta do first though is I take this, this is heparin so I don't clot up I take this put that on there open it make sure there's no bubbles and just make sure the flow is good before you start Okay, now I did that, and now I'm going to be ready to, um, uh, to hook up to the machine. Take this. Sometimes it gets stuck for some reason. Yeah. So I take this. First, I'm going to take the blue one. I'm going to disconnect this. And make sure you don't touch the, anything in here. You don't want to get it uh, dirty or make sure it's clean. And then you take this. the blue to the blue and then you tighten that I'll put that there for now then you take the red line put that there and we are all hooked up 
Now, if you see here, there's four clamps. Got to make sure all four are undone or the machine will beep, alarm, whatever you want to call it. And then you press this green, looks like a kidney button. That's the start button. And you can see how the blood is now leaving my body here to be cleaned by this machine. This is called a dialyzer. There's fibers in here that clean it. And underneath in this cabinet, there's something called dialysate. And that meets the blood here and it cleans it. And it comes out through this yellow line. It's the color, it represents the color of urine, the waste product. And that's how the blood bed's clean. And then, the blood will come back, as you can see, it's starting to turn redder. It's coming back into my body here. So it basically goes through here, comes out of my body, gets all cleaned out. Not all clean, it's better to have a kidney, obviously. Um, like I said, this is five days a week for about three hours at a time, whereas a kidney works 24-7. So, um, yeah, if uh, I know many people who are waiting for kidneys. Uh, they're also waiting for hearts, lungs. Um, eyes the eye can be transplanted um, you can also donate blood um, you can be a living liver donor what they do is they take a portion of your liver and it actually grows back if you uh, they cut a piece of it and can be transplanted into someone who needs a liver um, so that's another uh, option if anyone ever thought about donating a liver a kidney you can also donate blood and you can also donate bone marrow to save uh, help treat cancer all they do is they swab the inside of your your face here, and that's how you can tested to find out if you're a match or not. So there's another option you can um, look into about saving a life. A life. And uh, again, please uh, sign up to be an organ donor at your uh, your local DMV or anywhere online. Uh, just Google organ donation. Uh, I believe it's organdonor.gov is where you can register to sign up. So if you have any questions or uh, Again, if you know anyone who wants to donate a kidney, I know a ton of people that are looking for kidneys, and the wait can be long, so hope you uh, enjoyed my video, and uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Love you all.